right, everyone, this is uh, Mr. Carter. I'm with a group of seniors who just uh, participated in a small discussion with Patrick Kennedy. They're going to share uh, with you what they learned and what they heard. So I think this was an awesome opportunity for students at New Albany. We really got to see a personal story from someone who is also an advocate for mental health. So I think that it was really cool and seeing how we can go forth and try to make a change in our community now. And I'm coming from the perspective of seniors. I thought it was really insightful because um, I'm in microeconomics and I'm in government. And it was really nice to see how we discussed the issue in addition to policy in the United States. Um, it's really cool to see something so raw and so real um, because mental health should not be as um, hush hush as it is, but it is a taboo issue. And it's really cool to see someone so um, unapologetic about it and so willing to fight against it. It's really great to see someone so passionate about an issue they really care about. And I really enjoyed that. I thought it was a pretty interesting contrast to the last lecture with Peggy Newton and like a completely different viewpoint and like a set of ideas and again I think it was like cool that he was super passionate about what he was doing and the way he talked about the stigma and how people are afraid to talk about mental illness and how that's I'm kind of running out of things to say <laughs> it is it is really cool that he's like coming out and he's trying to get people to be as vocal as they can and to participate in government and in anything they can. Uh, I thought his story, his personal story was really inspiring and really highlighted an issue that's really becoming more predominant in society. And I felt that it really is our generation's problem it's becoming more of a problem and to hear his thoughts on it, it was really um, awe-inspiring and basically it really, I felt inspired to act and talk to my congressman about the issue. Thank you. Thanks, guys.